The minority caucus in parliament has described as insensitive government's adoption of current price determination formula for cocoa, which maintains a producer price of cocoa at 475 cities per bag. At a community and media engagement in Gorso in the Bonafi region, the minority indicated that per calculations and increased value of cocoa, the producer price should have gone up to 510.75 per Swiss. Government last Monday announced that it had maintained the producer price of cocoa at 475 Ghana cities per bag. This obviously did not go down well with the majority of cocoa farmers in the country and the opposition NDC. Hence, the decision of the minority in parliament to move to the cocoa community, engage the cocoa farmers and present them with what they call a proper analysis of the situation. On Wednesday, the minority met chiefs, elders and cocoa farmers at Gosu in the Bonohafu region and its environs. Here, the minority raised concerns about the management of cocoa sector by the MPP government. According to the ranking member of the Parliamentary Committee on Agriculture, Mr. Eric Opoku, the use of unrealistic exchange rate of 4.54 to calculate the total free on board FOB amount will result in huge financial loss to cocoa farmers. The syndicated law contracted for the purchase of cocoa for the 2018-19 crop season is $1.3 billion. Using the actual bank of Ghana rate of 4.8 would have increased the FOB amount in terms of total value by $514 million. 800,000 Ghana cities. This increase in value would have pushed up the producer price of cocoa by 35.75 Ghana cities per bag. Other members of the minority pointed out more pressing issues of cocoa management in the country, such as bad road networks and poor infrastructure in cocoa communities. Some of the farmers and leaders of the cocoa communities said they least expected government to maintain the cocoa prices. We used to get free fertilizer for our cocoa, but now it is being sold to us and we cannot buy, so our cocoa farms are being affected. We haven't received any increase in the price of cocoa for the past two years and this affects our livelihood. The price we receive for our cocoa is too low and so we appeal to the government to increase it for us, we really need it. The cocoa farmers also appealed for free cocoa fertilizer from government as they cannot afford the current price. Rachel Quarty, GBC24, Gosu.